Hello and welcome to this short video that will show you how to activate your sourdough starter. When you first receive one of our kits, your starter will be in a dried form. The first thing that you need to do is to hydrate the starter. Firstly, add your dried starter to a starter jar. If you purchase one of our starter only kits, the starter is already in the jar ready for you to add water to. Next, add 40 grams of room temperature water. And then mix with a glass stirring rod. Place the lid on the starter jar and then leave the starter to hydrate for three hours, stirring halfway after one and a half hours. After three hours, it's time for the first feed. Remove the lid from the jar and add 20 grams of the 50-50 flour mixture and stir until all of the flour is combined. It will form a thick paste. Clear excess starter from the side of the jar with the back of a spoon. This just makes it easier for you to see the top level of the starter. With your pen, mark the top level of the starter mixture on the side of the jar. Then, place the lid on the jar and leave for 24 hours in a warm place. As this time-lapse video shows, not a lot happens in the first 24-hour period. But don't panic, that's absolutely normal. <music> 24 hours later, and it's time for the second feed. Take a fresh starter jar and add 20 grams of your new starter together with 20 grams of room temperature water and mix until the starter dissolves. To this, Add 20 grams of the 50-50 flour mixture and again stir until the flour is completely combined. Clean down the sides of the jar, then mark the top level of the starter on the side of the jar, replace the lid and then leave for a further 24 hours. This time-lapse video shows that, yet again, very little happens in this second 24-hour period. So 24 hours later, it's time for a third feed, which means repeating exactly the same process as you did for the second feed. Add 20 grams of the starter to a new jar, add 20 grams of room temperature water and stir. And then add 20 grams of the 50-50 flour mixture and stir until the flour is completely combined. Mark the level of the top of the starter on the side of the jar with a pen, replace the lid and leave for 24 hours. This time, after about six hours, 
you'll see that the yeast activity began to inflate the starter, which expanded by approximately 50% about 11 hours after it started. This starter's alive, but it could be stronger, so we're going to give it another feed. For this fourth feed, we'll repeat exactly the same process again. The yeast in this starter is now super active. Watch what happens. After only one hour, it starts to inflate the starter. By five hours, the starter is expanded by 100%. Just look at that carbon dioxide bubbling through the mixture. This is exactly what we want to see. After 12 hours, the yeast still remains active, but it's starting to lose some of its potency. And after 18 hours, you can see we're almost back to where we started. This starter is now ready for the next stage, which is making a leaven to make a delicious loaf of sourdough bread. <laughs>